Hi guys, welcome back to another Monday Motivation. So I got my topic for today from my last video. Someone commented and asked, how are you so comfortable in your body? The truth is, everybody has their own issues with their own body. Everybody feels some sort of way about their own body and some people may seem like they're really happy, but they're not. I personally have always dealt with being too skinny. Even my own mother calls me too skinny sometimes, but I mean, she's my mom, so of course she's gonna wanna want me to eat more. So throughout my whole entire life, I've always been told, oh, you're so skinny, you're too skinny, you're blah, blah, blah. So like, that's something that's always been an insecurity, but like, I embrace it. Like, I honestly love my body. I love the way I look. Um, I just, I'm happy with my life and the way I am. So I want to help you guys and give you guys tips on how you guys can be happy with your body because we're all unique and we're all made differently, but God put you on this earth for a specific reason. So when I came up with this topic, of course I went online and I looked up some tips and the first thing that I found on the internet was this quote, so I'm going to read it to you. And I found this on a website called Tiny Buddha and the quote is, to be beautiful means to be yourself. You don't need to be accepted by others. You need to accept yourself from Tich Nhat Han. So that quote meant so much to me because this is the truth. You're only as beautiful as you tell yourself. No matter how many times someone tells you you're beautiful, it won't matter unless you tell yourself that you're beautiful. Also from the same website, there's a paragraph and there's this one sentence that I just wanna say also that fits very well with this video is, I scrutinize myself in the mirror searching for ways to look better. Not realizing that what I was really looking for was a way to be me and feel good about myself. So the only way you can feel beautiful is by being yourself and embracing how unique you are. If you're funny, tell your jokes. If you're if you're corny like me, tell your corny jokes and be happy. So the first tip I will say is pretty basic. Um, taking care of yourself. Making sure you shower, brush your teeth, eating the right foods, you just want to make sure that you're taking care of your body so then that way you're able to embrace your beauty. Another tip that I also personally want to start doing and trying to do every day is meditating. A meditation that I found at HuffPost.com is to place your hands over your heart and say to yourself slightly or out loud, may I be safe, may I be happy, may I be healthy, may I live with ease. Repeating that four times to yourself will help you feel more at ease. And then also repeating the same things but touching a, bo a part of your body that you don't feel comfortable about or that you feel like you can change. Just put your hands over that place and then repeat it again four times and it should help you. And if it doesn't, you can always find a different way or find other words that will help you feel more at ease. Another tip is throughout the day, make sure you're telling yourself that you are beautiful. Tell yourself that you're happy. Tell yourself all these kind things to yourself. Say, you know what, I love this new freckle. It brings out my inner beauty. Telling yourself all these positive things will make you feel more positive. It is scientifically proven that self-motivation does make you feel more positive and motivated. When you're on your way to school, make sure you tell yourself, I look beautiful today. While you're walking to class, Say, everybody's looking at me because they love the way I look. They love my outfit. They love my hair. They love the way I look. They love my face. They love everything. Another thing that will also make you feel more comfortable in your skin is doing something that you love. So if you're really good at doing a sport like tennis or swimming, make sure you're swimming or make sure you're playing tennis because honestly that will help you make you feel more comfortable because if you're doing something you enjoy, nothing else in the world will matter except for what you're doing. Another thing is always like I said before, embracing who you are. Like I like to consider myself a YouTuber, so why not embrace it? Why not embrace what I do? I just noticed right now that I'm wearing a white shirt with a white wall, so it kind of looks like my head's floating. Embracing who you are is so, so, so important. Like I said before, if you're a tennis player, embrace being a tennis player. Embrace how well you can play. If you're a good writer, embrace your stories. Embrace how well you are at writing. Making yourself feel good for what you're good at will make you feel more comfortable in your own skin. It will make you feel more happier. And I promise it will. And trust me, it won't take one day to feel beautiful in your own skin. It takes 21 days to start a habit. So that means you have to say to yourself for 21 days that you are beautiful and that your flaws are unique and that you are a wonderful person. 
So start today and for 21 days, tell yourself one positive thing in the morning, one positive thing throughout the day, and one positive thing throughout the night, and I promise you'll be more positive and more happy with yourself than ever. So you got this. Don't forget to be you and don't forget to be happy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a like, subscribe, and comment something positive for us to say throughout the day because you know sometimes it's hard to think of something positive so comment something positive make sure you're spreading that positivity and telling other people how beautiful they are because they might need the same help as you so make sure you're spreading that positivity don't forget to be you and be happy and i love you guys so much bye